Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. Last time, we escaped from Mr. Coronado de Gava, and I'm, I'm pretty sure him and his crew murdered Nugi. Yeah, that kind of happened. Anyway, uh, Morgan betrayed us, and uh, she's br she brought us back to Flotsam Island to uh, be experimented on by the Marquis de Singe, but before the Marquis could get his claws on us, the citizens of Flotsam Island came and grabbed us and are accusing us of several things. Uh, so let's look at these briefs. Alright, charge, constant abuse, X class. Haha. <laughs> charge, defendant, ruined is perfectly good, X is suspect, but plausible. Reports is not just making things up. Is sentence, two, pie two uh, pieces of eight fine, and a death by hanging. What? <laughs> okay. A recommended sentence. Well, we have nothing to do with that. I don't even know what that guy's talking about. Alright. Miss K. Krebs, search thigh crimes and <laughs> misdemeanors. Get it? Thigh crimes. Uh, discontinuation of Club 41's nacho sauce makes proof of guilt difficult, but court deems it unlikely that some other mix of fluids could have caused Krebs' distinctive burn. Now, pay attention to what these uh, things say. Anyway, you know what? She's. Death by corset? Oh my goodness, that would hurt. <laughs> anyway, um. She's accusing us of uh, spilling nacho sauce on her leg and scarring it. More on that in a little bit. Witness, uh, H. McGee, that's Hemlock McGee. Thelonious feline, frightening. Platon's pussycat seems traumatized by, by court, seem to far too many crippled pirates miraculously healed by the tonic of a cash settlement. That key moves an inch, this case is over. Give me the one ball of yarn, death by molly. Ouch. Okay, so concerning the nachos and uh, the cat thing, if you go way back to, I believe, episode 2 of this Let's Play, you remember that we went into Club 41 blindfolded, and our hand caused all sorts of mischief. During that time, uh, you heard uh, Miss Krebs say, My nachos! Because I guess we spilled her nachos on her. And then you also hear Hemlock McGee say something like, Hey, kitty! Or, uh, that was a horrible voice. I'm sorry. I probably hurt your ears by that. But that's how he sounds. <laughs> so, yeah, it actually comes back to it to bite us in the butt here. <laughs> so, I love how they do that. Yeah, we need to uh, get that cat to move. And finally, Miss Joaquin de Oro, counterfeit collectibles. When just testifying in return for lighter sentence, or just trust stool parents, their testimony is only as firm as their last bribe. Hmm, I see. So we need to bribe the guy, perhaps. Yeah, that pretty much tells you how to solve the uh, problem. Death by ace of dice, how does that work? Confiscation of sextants, that's just cruel. Okay. Witness Guy Bershaw, defendant arrested in possession of tiny sea sponge, which he insists procured the pox. Court is skeptical, but his confiscated artifact is a matter of policy. And it also in possession of an unremarkable wedding ring that will likely be used to defray his funeral costs. You took my wedding ring? Alright, so, these are our briefs. So, um, what, what do we do? Well, we can actually walk around and people just sort of sit there watching us. The left honorable Justice K.B. Popnecker lived on the bench and died under the table. <laughs> Now this one. The Right Honorable Justice D.C. Grosscup. 30 convictions, zero acquittals, no survivors. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, what's over here? Pirate code. Stinkbeard's common laws for common pirates. Laws? Pirates don't need no stinking laws. True. Fine, then we'll proceed with the execution. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh... On the other hand, maybe I could use a few good laws right now. <laughs> and uh, what's this over here? Like there was one whale of a fender bender while the winds were blowing out. How does that That's work? That's why I always sail defensively and carry state arm insurance. <laughs> you did not just do that. Oh man. We had a hard tack. Hey, hard tack. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. He's the one accusing so us of uh, ruining his ex. Hmm. Well, there it is. Why is it always an X? Why not T marks the spot? True. I guess X is easier to make. Dark Ninja Dave action figure. Surprise Doro ever fell for that. 
You might want to not want to say that out loud in a court case where you're being accused of making a counterfeit. Um, there's our ring. Let's grab it. Or not. <laughs> I love how they just not, don't even say anything. They just sort of like give each other nasty looks. The nacho plate. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. Gosh dang it, me too. Dang it, games. Always these LPs making me hungry. That paralyzed cat is creepy. Yeah, but it's still alive. You can see his eyes moving. Which is just, uh... Hey, he's the stenographer. Uh, could you read that last bit back for me? Very interesting. I don't even remember saying exsanguinate. <laughs> no, no, I'm not questioning your professionalism. It's just that I don't even know the meaning of... Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we can talk to, uh, the judge. I, uh, don't know what to do. That's why you should have a lawyer, you blithering planet state! Sorry. Look, Threepwood, it's pretty easy. You can call witnesses for any of the cases. Once they're on the stand, you can question them, confront them with evidence from the evidence table, if it's pertinent to the case, or attempt to confront them with new evidence that you've brought into court. Man, his you hands. You best be <laughs> careful about that last one, though. <laughs> Nothing gets on me nerves more than a defendant attempted to clog my court with useless chunks of jetsam! Uh, and of course, you can always ask for a recess so you can check your briefs. Thanks. <laughs> my briefs are fine. Oh, you mean... Oh, okay. Um, I object! To what? To this trial. To your hat. To the way my beard's itching. I also object to the way that guy's looking at me. Hey. And to this hook! And that three one! You will cease your foolish distractions before we come down and cease them for you! Man, he's worse than any other case I've seen. And then he gets angry and just sort of sits there blathering with those red eyes, man. Oh well, nothing we can do about that. <laughs> hey, Stan. Then he goes back to Arnold. Right! Where will we? <laughs> hey, Stan! Ah, no fraternizing between the defense and prosecution while court is in session! Oh. If you want a gap, call for a recess. It looks like Stan, even despite all the things we put him through, still kinda wants to help us. Ah, uh, this reminds me of the time I kissed Elaine under the mistletoe, and a rotting corpse fell on me. Did you hate it when that happens? Sword of Lustitia. Sword of Lustitia? Goddess of Justice, you illiterate swab! <laughs> oh, what is... Well, there's nothing else to... Oh, there is something else to look at. Hmm. An empty gibbet. We cleaned it out just for you, sweet meat. Sweet meat. <laughs> Alright, let's actually do something. Um... Your Honor, I'd like to request a change of venue. Where to? Oh, how about back at your place? Just you, me, a jug of grog, a loaf of bread, and some scandalous legal briefs. Skybrush, what are you doing? That free wood will terminate his clumsy and off-putting attempts <laughs> to seduce this court at once! <laughs> Make me uncomfortable at times. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets pissed off again. So that's something it. Oh, he's talking. Make note of that. <laughs> Brad said that right. before. Where were we? Just piss him off and he'll start going off like that. Alright, well, um... Exposed back to... Yeah, just like any option that's like near the bottom like this, then... Yeah. Your Honor, I'd like to approach the bench. Denied! No one approaches my bench! Alright, let's actually call a witness now. Bailiff Hardtack, yeah. If it pleases the court, I'd like to call Bailiff Hardtack to the stand. Bailiff Hardtack! Oh, that's me. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? I suppose. <laughs> Bailiff Hardtack, could you tell the court about your claim against Guybrush Threepwood? Well, uh, back on Spinner K, <coughs> I was getting ready to bury me modest chest of treasures, you see. My collection of spaghetti strainers, my silver paprika shaker, and so on. 
when all of a sudden this three-foot bloke runs up to me, waving his arms and telling me to look out for a three-headed monkey that's right behind okay, me. Okay, that's something we would do, but we didn't well, actually do naturally, that. Naturally, I turned and looked, but there was nothing there. <coughs> when I regained my composure, three-foot was nowhere to be found. And worst of all... Yes? He dug up my perfectly good ex. It's ruined now. Oh, come on. It looks fine. I didn't even buddy. touch it. Her text, not too bright. I bet he'd fall apart on the stand like a cheap leather jacket. All right. Man, what is with your, you and your leather jacket things? Um, this whole story about your ex is a big, fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you got me, sir. <laughs> Why? That was easy. Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without a job. <coughs> oh, I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. Who did I? Oh. Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. <laughs> <laughs> Punishment for wasting this court's time, you will be compelled to wear Lizzie's wig of foppery until such time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste. <laughs> and now you wear this wig for the rest. Ooh, it's delightful. <laughs> but if you'll remember, he's actually the one, uh, one of the guys who was arguing as to who was going to bury that uh, golden seahorse. So when he said it kills his boss, yeah, he's talking about that uh, captain dude back on a Spinner K. All right, so that's one down, three to go. Uh, Bosun Krebs. I'd like to call Bosun Catherine Krebs to the stand. Catherine Krebs, do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? Aye. Bolson Krebs, could you tell the court what happened on that fateful day? Aye. I was minding my own business at Club 41 with a mug full of grog and some zesty nachos. When all of a sudden, that blindfolded Jasper barreled into me, knocked me nacho sauce into me lap, and gave me this disfiguring oh. scar. That she looks nasty. Nasty. Aye, that takes me back. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks, kind of looks like a school of crossbones. Supply the prosecutor and the defendant with sketches of the burns for their briefs. Your Honor. Lots of luck, kid. So we got ourselves, uh, ourselves, a sketch of the burn. Man, they took everything. Oh, there's our briefs. Okay. And our hook, of course. They didn't take that. All right. So let's question Miss Krebs here. You are lying about this whole nacho business, aren't you? Nay. Are you lying about being a mighty pirate? I'll ask the questions here. Come on, you Come on you're lying. Admit it. You'll crack no. part two. Objection, Your Honor. Defense is badgering the witness. Knock it off, three point. Darn. Yeah, we can't just uh, badger her into telling the truth, even though we did spill nachos on her. But whether or not it caused that scar is yet to be seen. So looks like we'll have to gather evidence for that one. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Bosun Krebs. Hmm. All right, next. Because you have to walk behind your thingy, my bomber. Your Honor, oh, I'd like to call a recess to one. confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threefoot to the bridge. Oh, shoot. <laughs> aye, aye, Your Honor. I guess we could do this now. Doesn't matter. At least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Now to break out of here, find a lane and use La Esponja Grande to... Hey, what happened to my cool voodoo sponge? Don't you remember? All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs. 
that I know. Of. <laughs> then they'll be auctioned off at eBay. Oh, eBay. Okay, I, I think we can hey, just guard, get back in. What do you want from here? We don't want to get out of here yet because I want to actually here finish that off. I'd like to return to court to defend my client. All righty then. Let's find Judge Grindstorm. The Pirate Court of Flotsam Island is back in session. The Right Honourable Wallace P. Grindstomp presiding. Let's keep it moving, Captain Three Boys! Yeah, you can call for recess anytime you want, and let's call another witness. Now let's call Joaquin de Oro. I'd like to call Joaquin Jacinto de Mera Alfonso de Oro to the stand. Man. Joaquin de Oro! Do you swear on Blackbeard's oh, log to tell the geez. truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? See? Si? Senor de Oro. Captain Doro. Yes, of course. Why are you here today? Captain of I was recently arrested for trying to sell a counterfeit Dark Ninja Dave porcelain power pirate figurine. A counterfeit figurine. Crafted by Guybrush Threepwood. Actually, I mean, that wasn't so surprising. Your witness, Counselor. I love their comments. We kind of did do that, but um, perhaps we can, uh, like the the griefs were saying, we could maybe bribe him into changing his story. But uh, we don't know how, how to go about doing Is that it not yet. Is true that you're an inveterate liar? No. So it is true that you're an inveterate liar? Uh, no. Yes. I don't know. What does inveterate mean? Objection! Your Honor, the defense is attempting to confuse the witness with big words! Sustained! The defense will take into account the witness's limited vocabulary! <laughs> alright, alright. You liar! Yes? Me liar? No! I suggest trying another line of inquiry, Threepnod! <laughs> well, we don't have any other lines of inquiry. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Mr. Doro! That's Captain Doro! Captain of what? Just... Oh, boy. Okay, next witness. We don't have any evidence against him, so let's try someone else. I'd like to call Hemlock McGee to the stand. Hemlock McGee! What's that? Oh. And do you swear on Blackbeard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Pinky. I knew Blackbeard back when he was bloody black peach fuzz. Just <laughs> let me at him. Let me at him. Ensign McGee, it's your contention that Captain Threepwood injured your cat. Injured? He practically crushed him. Hit him right in the puss with a stuffed melody and he did. <laughs> And how is your cat today? See for yourself. The poor dear is paralyzed with fear. I have to feed her through a tube. Oh, my poor Miss Pretty Whiskers. Oh, Miss Pretty Whiskers. Pretty Whiskers. Your witness, kid. That's actually... I would name my cat that. I really would. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got anything on him. This whole cat thing is a scam to get back at me for getting you kicked out of Club 41, isn't it? How can you look at my fat little pussy cat and call me a liar? <laughs> oh, just look at her. Oh. <laughs> Admit it, you're nothing but a no-good, no-legged, stinky liar. Objection, defense is mocking my client's disability. Sustained! The defense will refrain from insulting the witness's pungent body odor! <laughs> alright, alright. So we need to get that cat to move somehow, but we can't do that now. I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may step down, Ensign McGee! <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we can. Call ourselves. Your Honor, I'd like to call Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, to the stand. Guybrush Threepwood! I'm right here. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog swilling backstabbing pirate? Ooh, what's this log made of? Calf leather? You just can't find craftsmanship like this these days. <coughs> How can you oh, feel it with your hook? I do. <laughs> Then Sheepka. Reapwood. Ah, yes. Shreveport. Reapwood. Greensleeves. Reapwood. 
Treebeard? Treebeard. Sleepwood. Dad. Objection. Defense is stalling. Um, let's just get out of here. Let's see if we can go close. Your Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Oi, oi, Your Honor. And back to the brig we go. Hey, guard, what do you want? Now to get out of here before I end this off. Nothing. Actually, so you'll get plenty of that in there. Huh? Bar. This bar looks pretty loose. Ah! Knock it off, you! <laughs> loose patch of plastic. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Hey, guard! What do you want? Aren't I entitled to some bread and water? Bread and water? <laughs> <laughs> I pride myself on providing Flotsam's prisons with the finest in haute cuisine. Wait here. Oh, okay. Wait here. Huh. That's funny. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty... Okay, let's, uh, still have a hook. Maybe that will help. But it never leaves. What the... It's solid steel under here. Oh, shoot. Um, stupid reinforced wall. Yeah, I guess there actually isn't anything we can do. Darn. Where's my dinner? My whole cuisine. Oh, the prisoners don't get any food. That's for the gods and judges. Delicious, too. What a joke. <laughs> hey, he knows that he's still wearing that wig and will continue hey, to wear the wig. What do you want? So to get out of here. <laughs> I want to see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guy Brush Threepwood, mighty pirate of all. Fine. And check this out. All right, Counselor. Judge Grindstomp says you got five minutes. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. Hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed at this ungodly hour. I'm worried about my wife, Counselor. She hasn't sent me a letter in weeks. I wouldn't worry about her, Guybrush. We're taking very good care of her on my estate. Very good care. <laughs> you scurvy backstabber! I'll... Guard! I'm quite done with my client! I'll get you, Threefoot, if it's the last thing I do! And we get out. Sorry about that, Mr. Threefoot. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. Make nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good broad? The 41's right over there, sir. All right, so we've seen the witnesses, we've seen what we've been accused of, and now we've devised a very clever way to get out of prison so we can go and collect evidence. What will we find? Can we clear our name? Find out in the coming episodes of Let's Play Tales of Monkey Island. Thank you for watching and have a good day.